I guess we're going. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's straight in. All right, so let's hop. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Loud than I expected. So let's hop into this match right now. We're going to have Wood against uh, Pask. Uh, is it Shadow the Pask from? This is Papa Lobster. Papa Lobster. Oh, uh, I am so sorry. I different. No, it's yeah. <laughs> no, it's Pask. It's Pask. It's Pask. The thing of the. Oh, okay, okay. Overlay is. Yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> so right now, uh, Wood already put a bunch of damage on this person. Only at, He's dealt out 111% in barely even 20 seconds. The Pask is looking like. Really kind of lost on some answers on what he should be doing. Also, we did play them in teams earlier, and uh, Pass's team, I'm pretty sure, won it. So I know that Wood definitely probably took a little bit of extra time to just like kind of study what he should be going for. Pass from India, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Wood is from. Uh, He's from Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. All right, trying to get the edge guard with the key, but actually that was a really nice ledge trap. He prevented him from being able to make it off like from the ledge, and then also as soon as he rolled on, he was still kind of like dead. Uh, so it was a great ledge trap from Wood. Rob also has a lot of similar ledge traps, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that come out of pass a little bit later. Ah. Unfortunately, with the gyro at point blank range and ate a lot of damage for it, and he hasn't really been able to like get control of the ground, and that's something that like Rob can like shine on. Is that uh, with gyro and with laser and everything else, oh, he can sure. like really, really like get a lot of stage control. Not as much as like other like top tiers, but you know, definitely enough to like kind of like alleviate what's happening to him. Right. Yeah. Would. Uh has a lot of Rob experience and uh, passed this from Indy and, you know, Game & Watch is kind of out there. Oh, there's not anywhere. There's <laughs> literally Meister. And, like, I would be scratching my head to find a second that isn't like Wood, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, wow. He not... is really, honestly, just, like, utilizing his item to, like, just he's, – he's doing the traps that pass you would expect to see from – you know what I mean? Right, yeah. Uh, Wood very on top of the gyro play and the item interaction just – Really oh using no. pass. Oh, and an SD. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He was ready to dodge for the chef, but, you know, it just wasn't worth it. If you're down three stocks, are you already thinking about next game? Um, It depends. It depends. Um, One thing, even if I if I get down this far, I like to think about, like, what habits to look for for the next game. So that's something we could, we could definitely see Pass trying to do. But right now, he's just, like, he's trading with, like, Game of Watch's hitboxes. Or I shouldn't say he's trading. He's just losing to them outright. And Rob's, like, Nair and, like, Fair are, like, really, really good aerials, but, like, they're coming out just so slowly that he's just outright just getting just kind of wrecked in the air, you know what I mean? Yeah, the uh, the Game & Watch Nair is doing, like, a crazy amount of work. And there's this weird conundrum where it's similar to when you're playing against Mega Man where oh, you got the a lot of times Rob wants to be – will go above you. And right. the up airs, um, you know, kind of remove that recovery option. So he's getting abused off stage a lot and unable to do kind of traditional recoveries. Yeah, and he's opting to just like keep throwing him off stage too. He's going for this key a lot, uh, and even if it doesn't necessarily like connect, it just forces Rob to recover at like an odd angle. And he's getting, like you said, he's getting a lot of mileage out of it. It's a lot of traps here. Even going for that uh, whiff jab into the neutral air when he tried to go for the punish, and the forward air takes it. Wood actually gets a three stock with uh, only 100% on him. So and yeah, the key in straight into the up special, like the frame data on that, is just so clean that there's very little your opponent could do to really contest. So yeah, yeah, Wood is. Put on a clinic in game one. Pass looking a little bit lost, but um, honestly, when a match like that happens, as you were saying, start thinking about game two, or even just like just really start trying to get the download. That's that's probably the best bet. It's gonna run it back to battlefield. No. no. Oh, was no, that Mega. FG battlefield? Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. Interesting uh, choice. Oh, it's going Diddy Kong. Okay, okay. Um, you so know what's funny? So traditionally, Diddy Kong is always like. Really wrecked Game and Watch. Yes. But now because of the way the fact that Bucket like reflects and a couple other things in the matchup, it's actually a little harder than it used to be. Okay. I yeah. had to play this Thursday and I was like, oh, this wrecks Game and Watch. I'm like, oh, I guess not. Apparently. Gotcha. Did he call one of the characters that received uh, a handful of buffs recently? Oh, a ton. Yeah. I think this character is honestly like about to be back in the meta. Uh, Dakpo has been doing a lot of really cool stuff with them. And oh yeah, I saw that the Twitter clip of the infinite on <laughs> Pokemon. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think this character definitely has potential again. His range is just nerfed. But either way, uh, Wood is, again, just like really walling him out. See what I mean? Like he can't set up his projectile wall as right. well. So when you're pulling the banana, you just run up with the bucket, and then Diddy has to retake control, so it makes it harder in the neutral. Right. Ooh, very nice combo from Pass, though. He's definitely proficient with the character, so we'll see what he's able to do in this game. Okay, good idea. He knew that like going for the – oh, thank you. He knew that going for – oh, beautiful Gimp by Wood. That was really smart. When you're forced to barrel, like anything will just kill you. So I have to like make sure you like recover high or recover like unique angles. Mm -hmm. But a move like that, he can go for it, and then even if it trades, like he still wins. 
I don't even know if I can't trade, actually, in that situation. Yeah, I like how much Wood's able to go off stage with the Gamer Watch. Uh, you know, that's not really Maester's MO. He's more of a ledge trap player, so I'm not uh, as pro whatever, you know. <laughs> not as, like, proficient at uh, yeah. that feel you. I think Pass needs to just respect that forward air a little bit more. Like, it's, it's one of those things where you can hit it and you can send it away and it won't have to, you won't have to, like, worry about it again. But if you actually let it linger, it creates, like, a ton of shield pressure. And the Game of Watch is, like, completely done with the move. So he gets, like, free mix-ups. Almost in the same sense that, like, you get, like, assist and, like, marble, you know? There we go. Punish. Oh, that was a punish opportunity from past. But he opted to go for the throw instead of a smash tag, which I think would have sealed the stock. Either way, we got a ledge trap set up. Wood is kind of forced to make a bold option. Good patience by past. And the F throw will not take it. Uh, it's going to be a while before he gets the sock, unless he gets another like clean banana, like right now. There we go. Hey, there it is. Yeah, the, the counter pack actually, you can see what he's going for here, right? Right. Th without the platform, Wood's not able to recover the stage as uh, easily and passes. Another gimp. Oh, man. Yeah. But he's just not used to having his recovery options contested so much, it seems like. See, it does seem that way. I think Pass is going to have to, like, adapt and just start kind of just going high. Like, there's, pro there's problems that come with going high. Like, up air actually does a pretty good job of, like, snuffing right. out what he wants to do. But, I mean, going low is, has been, so far, literal death. And the up air, I mean, it's good, but it, it's not uh, insane, you know? It's not, you're not going to lose the game necessarily from getting hit by a few Ooh, up airs here and there. Whereas, if you're getting gimped over and over, that's it. You know? Yeah, literally. Another thing, so... Again, as we're talking about like unfamiliar matchups, there's not a lot of lag on like Game and Watch's like smash stacks. Like all the lags at like the beginning, or I should say startup, but at the end, like you can go for those baits like with up smash and like down tilt or like F tilt or whatever, and <laughs> passes seem to be uh, tripped up by it. That's hilarious. He's just standing in his face because of the the item changes. I wonder how much does that really hurt Diddy Kong's game? I know Peach players were mega sad about the, the change to item interactions yeah it's it's definitely it definitely does hurt it like throwing banana at a shield isn't necessarily like the broken option that it used to be right banana itself is still oh all right uh, passing killed really early <laughs> i think wood was not expecting the he might have been uh, looking for up throw i'm not sure yeah. but either way it definitely did it and that turtle is going to take out uh pass for game two Get wood wins with a jv2 wow yeah quick 2-0 there out of wood it yeah. seemed like the the counter pick did make some sense but Again, uh, past recovery options just getting stuffed out over and over. And yeah, yeah, I think he was starting to figure it out, but honestly, once you have a lead that's like that big, it's just so hard to make the comeback. Hey, is that a bracket upset seed wise? Must be. A, I, I don't think so. You know I what was not. crazy is uh, Lunic lost in pools to uh, a Columbus native uh, Q, a Crown player. He got 2 0 that is really wild, especially after Lunix's uh, performance at cost not that long ago. Right. 